Hi, I'm Ray Dombrowski, founder of the Vector Lab. Today I'm going to show you how I make my typography templates. And the advantage to the method I'm going to show you is that once you're done with a dimensional part of the design, you can always go back and change the font or the wording. So let's say you have a client that wants you to write the word Tennessee and you finish the design and they come back and say, oh, we actually need it to say Texas. Well, with this method, it's super easy because it retains all the dimensional effects. You can just retype the word and your design's done pretty much instantly. Same thing with the font. If they don't like the font, um, it's super easy to change it. You can show them you know, a ton of options without much effort. Um, so let's get to it. So the way to start out from scratch with these type templates is to type out a word and I'm going to change this to a light gray. And I'm going to go Command C, Command B to paste in back. And I'm going to change this to a blue stroke. And I'll thicken that stroke up a little bit. And then Command C, Command B again. And I'll change this to black, thicken that up. And let me lock the very top layer, then I'll lock the blue layer, and then Command C, Command B, and I'll drag this copy. And what I'm gonna do is use the blend tool, which is over here, to make the 3D effect. And the blend tool basically draws in between shapes, between two shapes or two type objects. So I'll click on this, click on the first one, click on the second one. And I've got this right now, I've got this set to 150, but to demonstrate the blend tool, let me just show you what it looks like with two in between shapes. So you can see you've got your original shapes and then one, two behind it. You know, if you change it to 10, it's gonna just look really jagged. So the more, the more in-between shapes or specified steps that you give it, the smoother it'll look. And let me just change this to 125. That should be, that should be pretty good. And so we've got our 3D effect. And to make a cast shadow, I'm just going to use my open arrow tool, select that very bottom layer, Command C. And I'm just gonna select everything, lock it, just so it doesn't get in the way. And then I'm gonna go Command B. And I'm gonna change this black to sort of a medium gray. Copy, paste that in back once again. And then drag this new copy over here. And I'm gonna get my blend tool again and click on the, the gray shape you can't see back here and then I'll click on the one I just made and you can see that now it looks like there's a light with a with a cast shadow on those 3D letters. So there's a lot of things you can do to really trick these out. I'll show you one here. I'm gonna select that bottom black part of the type, the 3D type, and I'm gonna change it to Kind of just a darker gray and you'll see that it gives it a gradient which is pretty nice and there's another thing you can do you can select this uh, top layer of type here command C command F and I'll apply a pattern tile that I have pre-built to it turn that opacity down so it's not so extreme and it gives a little grid pattern to that type. So experiment around. You can change the colors. You can change these to pattern tiles. You can play with the transparency. And the really powerful thing about these type templates is the ability to go back and change the font after you're done with it. So here I've changed it to Myriad. Here you add bold, 
And when you do this, all the type effects that you've made are applied. You can also go in and change the word, go edit, find and replace. In the find box type typography or whatever the word is, and then in the replace with box, put in what you want to change it to. So here I want to change it to templates. Go find and then replace all. OK, and then done. So now it's changed to templates. So that's it. Be sure to check out the links below the video to find out where you can get my premium typography templates, as well as a free download of the week. And for newsletter subscribers, a free download of Graphic Design Launch Kit. Thanks for watching.